Hi there, got a beautiful card. We're gonna be doing a bit of inking today. I just love the way this looks. So we'll show you what we'll be using from the Twinkle Twinkle Cloud and Star. We're using one of the little uh, clouds in that. And from the You Are My Sunshine, we're using the small cloud. So we'll have a little bit of variety there. And this one is called Rain or Shine. So we've got our umbrellas and our uh, sun there and we're gonna use the sentiment here. Okay. Pop those out of the way. So what we're gonna start with first is we're going to be doing a bit of inking this strip along the back here. And I'll give you a quick measurement. It is six and a half inches long by three and a half inches wide. And I'm going to be using the Distress Oxides. This is Broken China. So we're gonna be doing the entire background with this. So we'll just get a nice coat of the broken china on here. Ink all the way around. These have a lovely consistency to them. And I'll tell you what I'll do. Let me get a tissue here to hold on to it. Try and keep it off my hands a bit. Lay that down, there we go. Blend it all together. Okay, that looks pretty good. Quite pleased with that. Now I wanna give it a tiny bit of that sort of a rain soaked look to it. So what I'm gonna do is bring in a spritzer, put a little bit in my hand and we're just gonna clap some dots over that. In fact, maybe just a tiny bit more. And then just give it a second. It'll start to pull up some of that color and we can dry it off with a kitchen roll. So you can see it's got that kind of a rainy look to it. So I love the way that looks. Let's tidy that up. So I've just picked a piece of black and white striped card. I'm going to put this on top of it with some double sided tape, a couple pieces something on there and let's put a couple on the edge here just to make sure it's good and secure and I'm going to center that just to give me a little bit top and bottom showing let me lean over apologize there we go okay so I'm going to bring in my backing piece and some little bits I've already done ahead of time I've got the sun and the clouds here let me get a hold of them there we go. So what I want to do is add a little bit of ink to the edge of the sun. I'm going to use some fossilized amber. Just catch the edges of the rays. There we go. Okay. And I'll use a little bit of glue and we'll put this up in the corner. That should hold it. Oh, right about like so. And I'm going to add some clouds in around too. And because I've cut these out of vellum, so they're just really sort of ethereal looking, I'm going to use some spray glue on the back of these. This is the larger one. So I'm going to put one right about here coming up just a little bit in front of that uh, sun there. Pop one over here like that. And we'll do a couple of the little ones too. Just offset one or two of these. And these will show a little bit above the border here. So I'm going to bring in some glue to put this into place. There we go. Pop that right out like that. Just catching the bottom of those. Right. Okay, so next I want to do the umbrellas. So I'm going to just move this out of the way. And I've cut three of the umbrellas. I'm going to do them in different colors. So we'll start with the um, fossilized amber because it's out. So I'm going to just take and do the top of one of them. Just sort of hold it right like that. Give it a nice inking. Work towards the center. I'm going to put my finger right there so there'll be a lighter spot right in the middle and I'm going to do a tiny bit on the handle here. There we go. And catch this spot right here. 
Actually, I'm going to go in with the tip. There we go. So that one's done. Easy peasy. Bring in my spiced marmalade and let's just do a tidy. There we go. Got this one here and I'll use this smoothie. Lovely deep colors. Now as these dry, you'll get that uh, sort of chalky look from them. It's quite pretty though. There we go. And a little bit on the handle. There we go. Just like that. And the last one we're going to use is Wilted Violet. Bring in oops, another smoothie. Give a bit of color to this. Oops, I've been to stim a little bit. There we go. Right there. And get the handle. Let me just put my finger in there so I can kind of get below it without getting too much on the stem there. Tiny bit right there. So now you can add a little bit more ink if you like to bring the color, make it deep, however you want to do it. I would heat set them in between if you did that. And let's wipe that down with a grime boss and tidy it all up. Okay, so now I'm going to bring back my background and I'm going to start with the um, wilted violet one. And I got a little bit of a fingerprint going there. And we're going to put this one on flat with some glue. Put it there. Just kind of at a, what I call a jaunty angle. Not like that. Give that a second to set up. I'm going to take and put one piece of mounting foam onto the orange one. And put that one off to the side. Just raise it up a little bit more like that. And then I've got a double piece of mounting foam for the yellow one. Pop that into place. and have that one sort of going down off the card this direction. There we go. So cute. And I can add a tiny bit of glue underneath this to have the handle sit down like that. The sentiment I've done in black that kind of goes with the matting and the black and white um, paper behind it. I'm going to just put this one on with some spray glue. Pop that right to the side here. There we go. And to finish this, what I thought it would be really cute, bring it a little bit of glossy accents. And um, in fact, I'll use this little piece of cloud here to make sure it's moving. I don't want any air bubbles. And I just want to put a couple little dots, look like raindrops, around. There we go. When that dries, it'll stay like that. But isn't that cute? I love the way that looks. And all it is is a little bit of ink and some dyes. So easy to create. <music>